new 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 all right so uh what do we got first okay first up from our favorite british maker simon monk uh, we and Duncan Amos, I guess, uh, also friend, probably uh, our second favorite yeah. uh, person. Comes his awesome electronics notebook. Um, we have a couple of electronics notebooks we've stocked, but I really like the design of this one. It's got some cool things going for it. One spiral bound. How can you not love that? So you can both tear out pages uh, and also lay it flat. Um, I always love uh, lay flat binding. It's got the nice plastic uh, uh, binding as well, so it doesn't get bent. Yes. It's got um, the you know extra reference pages that you uh, have expected and seen in um, many books. So in the back, um, you know they've got the resist the color resistor chart, uh, common op amp circuits, um, ASCII tables, mar- MicroPython and CircuitPython, um, GPIO zero and Arduino like starting guides. But what I really love is um, so on each page you get both grid which you know is great so it's a nice light grid um but on the other page you get this um half size breadboard layout that's kind of faint so you can draw your circuits over it and then make notes about um your circuit diagrams which i thought was like a funky trick you still get you know three sides of the page that are um you know you get uh the left sorry the the back of the page is is still gridded but um, and of course, you can write over the, the breadboard. It's, it's kind of lightly printed. But I thought for, you know, I think I kind of imagine that Simon Monk, he, he's written a lot of books um, with circuit diagrams. And he's probably like, hey, I want a notebook that I can yeah. use to diagram my schematics on a, you know, you can draw like a Pico or Arduino or a Trinket um, and write out the LEDs. So it's like, it's like paper fitting. So I have a bunch of notebooks and. I've been like, you know what? If it, if they were spiral bound, I would use them. And then they just sit there because I'm like, oh, they don't lay flat, and I can't do what I want to do with it. Yeah. And so I have like a pile of notebooks. So this is like one of the first ones that I've seen. Um, and I don't know why people, some folks, stop doing spiral. I think just the way you know, oh everything was a mol- was it moleskin. I, I actually, I, I apologize. I didn't realize this. This is dedicated to Duncan. He, he was he was an assistant, but he he actually passed away. Okay, well then it means more then. And that's I didn't really... read that there. This is actually there's like this beautiful epitaph at the beginning. Oh well, but I didn't read it before we. That's okay. Um, what a great way to uh, have a tribute to someone that obviously Simon cared about. This yes. is really good. So, you know, this is the thing about supporting maker companies. Um, there's more to it, and this is you know every little special touch that goes along with these things. And like, this is dedicated to someone who probably had a big impact on, on Simon. So. Well, one thing I'll say is everything that Simon designs is like really, he very really thoughtful. he's very thoughtful. Yeah. Um, All right, well, I'm gonna take a look at that right after the show. Check this out. Okay, Lady Ada, what's next? Next up, uh, you saw this from a group of makers that love to build stuff with bricks, uh, sometimes called Lego or Lego compatible bricks. This is a builder mat. Um, specifically designed oh, right. for those folks. Remember you asked about Yeah, that? I was like, we should stock this. <laughs> um, and here it is. <laughs> uh, we added another photo afterwards that was, uh, uh, yeah. yeah, but well, uh, it's okay. You well, can show it on the overhead. I'll show it on the overhead. Um, but basically, it's it's one-to-one. Yeah, Wait. you put the bricks on there. Hold on. Hit the bricks. Hit the bricks. So, <laughs> hold on, let me actually grab the, the bag of bricks. All right. Well, I'll show this uh, right here. I got a bag of bricks. Yeah. Bags. So if you have a bag of bricks like this, um, so what's neat is, um, especially if you're like, you don't want to count and do sizing, um, oh. this is sized exactly for um, doing So this is like, you're, you do a lot of Lego stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And it's all like, apparently like, it's got like the one third width, like it's everything is Sorry, it's this way. So it's like uh, double block, and then yeah, this is the height. So you can like do your math and your layout, um, and you can decide how big you want it to be, like brick size. You don't have to like count it out. Um, and there's also an area for um, angled the angled pieces. Yeah. And then this is um, life life size of yeah. the little human figurine. Yeah, I saw this and I was like, this would be kind of neat. And now that 
it's in person, it's even more impressive. Yeah, it's actually yeah. a very nicely made mat, too. It's, like, really thick, um, and it uh, lays nice and flat. Okay, cool. Great um, for brick builders. Next up, you know, the code was succulent, so uh, <laughs> this is why um, Mark DeVink, who's been doing an amazing job with these artistic, beautiful, lovely... Succulent. Yeah, I, you know... The, it, <laughs> I, the, the best artistic LEDs in the world. I mean, this is it. There's nothing yeah, else like it. Yeah, these are cool. And I actually like the succulents because the color actually looks like the color of yeah. succulents. So um, we had green and now we have a yellowish green. Okay. And the stars of the show tonight, besides you, Lady Ada, our team at Adafruit, our community, our customers, is? Uh, we have updated the quad, or sorry, 14 segment quad alphanumeric displays to have STEM QT connectors on the back. Mm. Um, so it's the same size and shape and pinout as before, um, but uh, now you can plug and play it much easier. Um, for now, you still have to solder the um, digits onto the display, but you can get them in, uh, let's see, click on the first one, it's yeah. blue, red, and then we got some even better photos. Uh, so the uh, next one I think is green. Yeah, yellow. So, yeah, right. uh, yeah no, they, they've got the contrast uh, going well. So, yeah. um, yellow, orange is yellow, uh, white, and uh, green. So, red, yellow, white, blue, green. Um, so, each one of them, it's again the same code as before, but now plug and play. And I'll just show that on the Yeah. Head. I'm going to show these. One of the things um, we get asked once in a while is like, does Age of Fruit do like CGI stuff because no one ever shows any electronics with you know the lights working on it? Yeah. And so we're like, no, we actually do this. It's it's hard, and um, we also do live demos on our shows yeah. as well because we really like to show these things to to, to show you. It really is easy. We, we can run a company, run a show, and somehow manage to also do live demos. Yes. That, and they work. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this is great because it's 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 so it is really bright. I mean, the contrast is very good in person, but of course, it's, it's tough. To they look really, about. but it like it looks nice. It's very nice. Yeah. So now it's plug and play. So I've got like this, you know, this STEM QT board, and I just have a connector going to it. Uh, so it's easy to plug and play, and then you can of course chain uh, more displays if you like. Uh, for this one, I, I just soldered in um, Swiss pins, <coughs> so we could like quickly change out the colors because I wanted yeah. to do this demo. Um, so we've got bright green and then you can also get let's see I'll just swap out one you can get red and get the right way around Hold on. live demo there you go Oops. Hold on. one pin is you lit it up though uh oh well you did what? It did. I, I saw it. I know, but uh oh. You know, I didn't insert these flat. I was all Hold like, on. we do live demos. Check this out. I know, out. I know, but the problem with live demos is sometimes I, yeah. Uh, I'll edit it in post. Hold on. Do, 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 look how perfect this is. Do, 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 do. Everything's oh God, fine. How did Jimmy get Everything's in? fine. Everything's okay. Nothing's going on. Everything's safe. There you go. Okay. I fit it in. Hi. Everything's fine. Nothing happened. Um,. So what's nice about the 14 segments is, of course, you can see if you're doing uh, letters, you can have like lowercase and uppercase letters. And so our libraries have, um, for CircuitPython Arduino, have a <coughs> font that you can use that will um, display it nicely. Otherwise, um, it's plug and play. The one update that I did do is um, there is now, instead of two power pins, there's a VIO and a VHI pin. So the VIO pin is the same as a STEMIC UT pin, which means like in this case, it's running off of uh, three volts, which is which is plenty, plenty bright. But um, wait, I'm going to do a dangerous live demo because I didn't try this ahead of time. Yeah. Okay. If you, I like, I like how you, can, you learn nothing. I learn nothing. <laughs> um, but it so it's running at three volt power and three volt logic. But then I can connect this to USB power. Whoa. And then it gets even brighter. So now I'm powering just Whoa. the LEDs. Whoa. I, I can power just the LEDs. You're oh my blowing goodness. up the camera. I know, it's, it's so bright. Okay. Uh, yeah, so f at 5 volt power and then 3 volt, 5 volt, 3 volt, 5 volt. You can see it's a little bit different. Yeah. It's a little bit brighter. Um, so handy. And then 
I touched on thing. Uh, but it's handy if you are, if you, because one of the issues people had is, oh, they wanted to use three volt logic for the driver chip, but they wanted the LEDs to be um, driven from five volts to get like a, a brighter look, especially for the uh, the green and blue and white, which have a forward voltage of about 3.4 volts. So um, updated is one of our STEMI QTification <laughs> projects we're trying to go through every product and qtfi it and so you can see we're going back in time this is one of our older products um but yeah. now it's plug and play yep it's new products Ooh.